This video will show how to set up single sign-on for Google using the SAML protocol with Mini Orange as an IDP. Configure SSO in the Mini Orange. First, log in to the Mini Orange admin console as an admin. To add Google as an application, go to the Setup app card and click on the Setup button. Now click on the SAML application type. Here, search for the Google application. Here, enter the custom application name. Enter your domain name here. Click on Save. Your app is configured successfully. Now to configure Mini Orange in Google, you need to have the metadata details. For this, go to Select Against Your Configured Application and then Metadata from the drop-down to get metadata details. Go to the Information Required to Set Mini Orange as IDP section, then click on Show Metadata Details. Here keep the SAML login URL and click on the Download Certificate button to download the certificate which you will require in the Google Admin Console. Now let's configure the SSO in the Google Console. First, log in to Google Admin Console. Go to the Security tab from Admin Console. Go to Authentication and select SSO with third-party IDP. Here, from the SSO profile for your organization section, click on the Edit icon. Now, enable the Setup SSO with a third-party identity provider checkbox. Now let's fill in the metadata details that we saved earlier from the Mini Orange dashboard. In the Sign In Page URL, paste the SAML Login URL. Enter Sign Out Page URL in this format. As G Suite does not support single logout, instead of using the logout URL given in the metadata, use the following logout URL format for configuration. You can get the base server URL from the customization section in the Mini Arrange dashboard. Here, scroll down to find the login page URL and copy this till here. Now upload the certificate by clicking on the Replace Certificate link that we downloaded earlier from the Mini Orange dashboard and save the settings. Your Google SSO SAML integration is done. Assign SSO profile to organizational units or groups. If you want some of your users to sign into Google directly, you can move those users into an organizational unit, OU, or group. Then, manage SSO settings for the OU or group so that those users are authenticated by Google rather than using your third-party IDP. Follow the following steps. If you want all your non-super admin users to sign in using a third-party IDP, you don't need to manage. If you want some of your users to sign in to Google directly, go back to the SSO with third-party IDP and scroll down to find the Manage SSO Profile Assignments for Organizational Units or Groups section and click on Get Started. Get Started is only available if you've already enabled your third-party SSO profile. Select the organizational unit or group for which you're assigning the SSO profile from the left. Note. If the SSO profile assignment for an OU or group differs from your domain-wide profile assignment, an override warning appears when you select that OU or group. You can't assign the SSO profile on a per-user basis. The user's view lets you check the setting for a specific user. Choose organization's third-party SSO profile if you want your users in the OU or group to sign into Google services using the IDP designated in your domain's third-party SSO profile. Choose none if you want your users in the OU or group to sign in directly with Google. Choose another SSO profile in case you already have another identity provider configured and would like to use it for user authentication. Then click Save. Now let's test the SSO. Go to any of the services provided by Google Workspaces. This will redirect you to the Google Login page. Enter your email and submit. This will redirect you to the Mini Orange Login page. Enter your credentials and you will be successfully logged in. I hope I was able to make you understand how to configure single sign-on for the Google application using Mini Orange as an IDP.